There you are, sir. I think you're gonna find it nice. irresistible. All right. Do you know where Christian got these coconuts? Uh, hey, everybody, listen up. Uh, this park ranger has an announcement he'd like to make. Hey, guys, a pack of coyotes is taking over your courtyard. Now, we believe that someone may be leaving food and water out for them. Now, they may seem cute, but they are dangerous, so we're gonna advise that you guys stay inside until we get rid of them. Enjoy your mojito party. Sorry I fed the coyotes. They just look so hungry. Oh, yeah, that's all right. You know, if we're all gonna be trapped inside because we got a pack of coyotes out there, well, at least it's during a mojito party. It's actually kind of fun being trapped inside the house together. It's like a little snow day. There's a cockroach in the bathroom. Oh, Jesus Christ. This big and fast. You saw it move? It ran from behind the shampoo bottle to behind the conditioner. Like this. Fast as hell. Fast. And where's your shirt? Crammed it under the bathroom door. I don't want that cockroach to escape. People are going to start needing to use that bathroom. What do you propose we do? Well, I just crash on your couch. It's not my house, but if it was, I'd kill it. OK, uh, you know what? That won't be necessary. We'll just have somebody go in there with a jar and capture it and release it in the courtyard. Why don't you look at that? That's a picture of a cockroach. Look how disgusting it is. Those antennas, the little legs. I wouldn't feel comfortable asking anyone to look at a live one up close, much less capture in a jar. Yeah, because then you gotta flip the jar and you gotta get the paper under there. Then you gotta flip it at the same time. It's not worth the risk. Unless you wanna do it. Do you, Donnie? <sighs> no. They're too gross. Hey, what's going on with the bathroom door? Are, are people doing cocaine in there? There's no cocaine. Christian, go downstairs. We'll be down in a minute. Hey, Corey, you think I could uh, borrow a shirt? I'm getting kind of cold. All right, everybody, listen up. Donnie's got something to say. There's a cockroach in the bathroom. Oh, oh my God. Cockroach. So now you know. How big is this thing? Someone needs to just go up there and stomp it. You can't stomp it. It's too fast. And even if you could catch it, it's too big to stomp. What do you know about stomping a cockroach? I stepped on a potato bug once, Christian. And I pray that you'll never have to hear the sound that it makes underneath your shoe. Well, I need to use the restroom. Go ahead, Christian. No one's stopping you. I'm pretty sure Christian's bladder is not the only one that's filling up. So from now on, we limit our liquid intake. No more mojitos. <laughs> Fat chance. They're irresistible. Resist we must. From now on, we do shots only. No mixers. As for killing the cockroach, well, we'll be exploring some different options. Unless someone wants to volunteer to catch it in a jar. Is the hole necessary? We can't risk opening the bathroom door and having the cockroach escape. If I can get a good angle, it'll come right down on top of it. Should be quick. Will the cockroach feel any pain? I mean, I assume so. I have a visual. Let's do it. <laughs> Did I get it? Not even close. Damn it. I short-armed it. Hey, Kevin, when you stepped on that potato bug, what type of shoes were you wearing? Rachel. It's all right. I was wearing Tom's. <sighs> That's a thin soul. Did it work? Negative. He ran into the bathtub. Looks like he's stuck. The surface is too slippery for his little legs. Let's drown him. How are we going to turn on the water without opening the bathroom door? We could fill up some Ziploc bags with water from the kitchen. I know we have about 100 in there. That should be enough to fill the tub. What if the bags don't burst? Knives. We could just start throwing knives over into the tub. What we need is something long enough to stick through the hole in the door and turn on the faucet from here. Maybe we could break the legs off some of the antique chairs downstairs. Pull it up, pull it up. Oh, you got it. The bathtub's filling up. Oh, looks like he's treading water. Donnie, go get your toast, Robin. Why? We're gonna toast his ass. 
Fire in the hole! Hold on, waiting for the smoke to clear. He jumped up on Donnie's loofah. What the hell's taking so long? I can't hold it any longer. If you have any better ideas, I'm all ears, man. You don't think I have to go? I got a little bladder. I'm sorry, it's my own damn fault. I snuck a mojito while no one was looking. They're irresistible. What? Irresistible. We're gonna dose the cockroach with a special concoction. Christian's mojito and a pharmaceutical grade sleep aid. If the mojitos are as irresistible to that cockroach as they are to us, well, they'll suck it right down and fall asleep. Yeah, yeah, cut the line, cut the line. He's leaving the loofah and headed towards the mojito. Oh man, he's really taking it down. He passed out. Is he dead? Well, there's no way to be sure. Not from out here. Someone needs to go in there and finish the job. Someone who's been down this road before. All right, I'm past the sink. Kevin should be asleep in front of the bathtub. Can you get a visual? I see the paper plate, but ne negative on the cockroach. OK, guys, you know what? I think we should get him out of there. Hold on. It couldn't have gone very far. Kev, can you see it? There it is. I, I found it, and he, he ain't moving. All right, Kev. Stomp that sucker. Wait a second. Now he's by the plunger. We're so close. Let's just do this. This doesn't make any sense. Oh, my God. There's more than one. They're everywhere. Guys! <laughs> get him out of there. What if they're on? I don't care. Get him out. <laughs> this spreads me in the bathroom. It's on you. <laughs> Get him off me! Get him off me! Oh, mouth, mouth, mouth. Is he clear? He's clear. You're lucky. Oh, God. Support, there's one more thing we'd like to try. What's that, burn the house down? I'm gonna get a hose. I'm gonna attach it to the tailpipe of my Mini Cooper. Fox is gonna get the other end, running into the bathroom. We're gonna gas him out. The carbon monoxide should kill him off. God damn it. Now, I felt bad about killing one. Now you're asking me to massacre a whole family? Kevin's got to go to the bathroom. So does Rachel. It's not going to be long before the three of us have to as well. How are you going to get past the coyotes, Frank? They're going to bite you right on that ass. I don't know. Hold up. You know I stole 23 bases my senior year in high school. All right, got a little speed on me. I think I got a shot. Go get some ribeyes out of the fridge, Frank. It'll help distract the coyotes. Seems to be their favorite cut. Start the engine, Frank. Hurley from the show Lost. Oh no, I'm the cockroach. I knew if I came to you in my insect form, you'd be disgusted, so instead I took the form of someone that you'd recognize and hopefully trust. Where are the others? Hiding under the sink, out of view. I thought it was best if I spoke to you alone. We don't mean you any harm. We came up looking for water through the pipes and ended up in your bathtub. I'm sorry we tried to murder you. I don't know why we think you're so gross. It's okay, you can't help it. But when you think about it, you're really no different than a cricket. Well, you're definitely not as gross as a potato bug. Have you seen those lately? Oh, yeah. <laughs> those guys are fucking gross. <sighs> Anywho, I came to propose a truce. 
I mean, we could go back down the drain, but some of us are too weak to make the journey. Don, if you just put a jar in the bathroom, every last one of us will crawl inside. You take that jar outside, and we'll leave and never come back. You have my word. Deal. Okay. Cockroach, salute to you. <clears throat> now go before the carbon monoxide kills us all. Oh, shit. Okay. Frank? Yeah. Frank, kill the engine. Can't get up, Fox. Get up. They're gone. I'm missing my